Hoi! It is Jane Eyre week and today I want to talk about two adaptations of Jane Eyre. The first one I want to talk about is the Jane Eyre 2006 BBC miniseries, which I'm not sure how many of you will have seen. And the second one is the 2011 film with Michael Fassbender, which is the one that I'm guessing you will have heard of before. This was the first Jane Eyre adaptation I ever watched. I have a feeling that I watched this before I ever read the book, but I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure it has four episodes and it's 207 minutes. It's called a miniseries for a reason. Reason. It's a tiny bit dated when it comes to the DVD menu and the fact that it's 4x3 instead of widescreen. But the first thing, and probably one of the most important things, is that the actress who plays Jane Eyre, to me, is just the ultimate Jane Eyre. Jane is always described as being very plain and I feel like this is sort of weird to talk about. I feel like this actress is sort of plain, but she has a really striking face. She is really good at the sort of weaker side of Jane and like blushes like a schoolgirl, but then she really shines when it comes to the sort of darker and more dramatic scenes. And then Toby Stevens, who is Mr. Rochester, is also really good at being dark and brooding, but also does open, friendly Rochester really well. One of the things that I really like about this adaptation is the soundtrack, and it's not available anywhere. Like, I haven't been able to find it, and I really, really want it. This is a really straightforward adaptation. When I was rereading the book, there's so many quotes that are just directly put into this. It's by far my favorite. I'll also always remember when the girls go to wash their faces at the Lowood school, they have to break the ice on their bowls of water. Everything around it is really beautifully done, but I think it's the actors in this that just make it amazing. So then we have the film with Michael Fassbender. It is 115 minutes. I love the back of this. A romantic classic, Jane Eyre is a captivating, passionate and timeless tale of love. When a young governess falls for her brooding and wealthy employer, Mr. Rochester, she she discovers, too late, a powerful secret that tests her love for him. The first time I watched this was on a plane, I couldn't really pay attention to it, the sound and the visual obviously wasn't that great. So recently I decided to give it another go and I bought the DVD and I actually did find myself quite enjoying it. Michael Fassbender does a really good job of Mr. Rochester. He always has that thing where you feel like he is about to explode with anger all the time. I also feel like when he sort of lightens up, it comes as more of a surprise. I think my main problem is with Mia, who plays Jane Eyre, who, you know, does a good job of acting, I just don't think she fits very well with the character. She is quite pretty and I think the problem is that she's not quite as striking. Even when she gets angry, it just doesn't quite have the fire of Jane Eyre. By the way, in case you didn't know, both of these adaptations were filmed in the exact same place in the Peak District in a place called Haddon Hall and I went there recently and now I just know every corner of this building and it's really really weird but I wonder if that is something that you would notice if you just happen to watch both of them. Same garden, same view, same building. While I was rereading Jane Eyre I actually listened to the soundtrack of the film and I found that that was really sort of relaxing but obviously set the right atmosphere so I really really enjoyed that. Also one thing about the film is that they do a non-linear sort of thing where it starts when she's running away from Thornfield Hall and then there's a lot of her sort of remembering what the beginning is which I guess sort of keeps it more entertaining but I'm definitely a bigger fan of the straightforward storytelling in this case because then the sort of scene where she's fleeing and everything that comes after it means so much more if you already have the context of the rest of her story. If you've seen any of these adaptations let me know in the comments what you thought. Try and avoid any spoilers in case people have not seen the films yet or read the book. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later and I'm gonna finish watching the film now because when I put it in my laptop to just look at the first five minutes to kind of remind myself of what it was like. I accidentally watched the first hour. I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!